I saw my life flash before my eyes. It was just me, standing on top of the capsule, looking down at the water. I wrote a note to the kids, telling them how much I loved them. And then I prepared to jump. Richard Branson's made a career out of breaking tradition and has a flair for self-promotion. Virgin were getting big and bigger. I knew that I just had to use myself to get Virgin on the front pages rather than a little anecdote on the back pages. I saw this incredible challenge to be the first people to cross the Atlantic in a hot air balloon. The prize was fabulous. Richard's words were, hell, let's do it. He has great faith in other people. Misplaced in my view. Six people have tried, five have perished. The pop music millionaire is almost ready for his latest challenge. I'm a little bit nervous, and of course I'm a bit nervous. <laughs> I've been bringing him up all his life not to show his fear. My mother had enormous expectations. I had to do some pretty extraordinary things in my life. All people stay behind the barricades. Being dyslexic at school, I would get nothing right. Nothing. The first ever transatlantic fight in a hot air balloon. I had left school at 15. I had completely failed. I suppose I had a lot to prove. We headed up to 30,000 feet. It's beautifully serene. As long as nothing interrupts that serenity, there's nothing more magical. This is Pacific Fire. I think we're in serious trouble. Someone had taken the top of the balloon and dragged it. We were completely out of control. And then everything went black. So, are you a big movie fan? Well, I've got some interesting movie facts for you. Did you know that over 90% of American movies made before 1929 are lost? No copies are known to exist. Now that's a big shame. Okay, now think about the movie The Godfather. It's all about the mafia, no? Well, the word mafia is never mentioned in the film because the actual mafia demanded it. This next one is really interesting. Did you know that Pulp Fiction, uh, Forrest Gump, the Shawshank Redemption and the re-release of Jurassic Park were all in theaters at the same time in October of 1994? Now, that would have been a hard choice uh, of what to watch or you would have had a busy month at the cinema. The first one I would have seen was Pulp Fiction. What about you? Which one of these was or still is your favorite? Let me know in the comments below. See you next time.